Hey, happy Sunday. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how to find your own style. So. Hmm, what am I going to wear today? How about this? basically my style a blazer um, a sexy crop top and some skinny jeans usually I would be wearing a lot of colors but since I chose to wear black and gray I made sure that my shoes are funky and popping with the colors all right so let's get into the video don't forget to like and subscribe if you like fashion beauty DIY tips and all kinds of goodies on this channel there's a difference between trends and styles. I think sometimes people have them confused. Trend is what you see outside, the signs that you see on the stores. Come buy this outfit for $10 or buy one, get one free. Now, style is who you are, what you own, and how you express yourself, right? So when you're finding your own personal style, there's a lot of things that you gotta take in, into consideration. The main thing for me is self-confidence because if you don't have self-confidence, then you're not gonna know how to express your style in the way that you would like. You know, people are gonna see right through you if you're not confident in who you are. So let's go over some ways that you can express your personal style. So in this video, so in this video, I'm going to save you a lot of time, money, and we're going to up our confidence together. It's story time. I remember when I was in high school, I was very shy, very, very shy in high school. I always wanted to dress fashionable in high school when I first started, but I didn't have the confidence to do it until I met my friend in high school who... You know, he helped me to develop the confidence that I needed. So when 12th grade came in high school, I was like out there with my fashion. I didn't care what anyone thought. Um, I was being me. At the time, it looked crazy <laughs> because I was 17. But my confidence grew so much that I did not care what people thought. And I was just wearing whatever I wanted to wear. And it looked good to me. I mean, to other people it might look crazy, but it didn't matter to me because it was just my confidence and I was expressing myself and my own style and the way that I like and what made me feel good. There also was a situation in college, my first year in college, no, my second year in college where I met this girl and I just can't remember her name. I know she's from New Jersey, but I just, I don't know. But I met this girl in college who said to me, she said, we, oh, we were in the same biology class together. And she said to me, why do you always wear black? And I was like, huh? What are you talking about? She said, I noticed that you always wear black and you have such a beautiful dark complexion. Why don't you start wearing bright colors? And after she told me that, because I'm not afraid of criticism, or the truth. I find that when people tell you the truth, they're being very authentic. You know, people who are fake are not going to tell you the truth. They're going to be very cookie cutter and laugh with everything that you do. But when you have a friend or someone who tells you the truth, that's an authentic friend or authentic friendship, guys. So this girl she said to me, you're always wearing black and I would like to see you wear some bright colors, you know, because your complexion is dark and you, it would just bring out your complexion. And I looked at her and I thought she was kind of crazy. But the next day when I came to school, I had on some bright colors because even though sometimes people tell you things, you might, you might resist and you might not want to listen. But if you, sometimes you can just try what they say and see how it works out. And from then, I always liked bright colors because what she said was true. When I looked in the mirror, I noticed that 
the bright colors brought out my attention. I mean, sometimes I went overboard though. <laughs> I would wear like too much bright colors. But that's how I started wearing a lot of bright colors because that girl who I was friends with told me, she gave me a suggestion. And I kindly listened to her suggestion and it worked out. So guys, there's nothing wrong with suggestions. Just because someone says something to you doesn't mean it's insulting. You just try. You know, you only live once. So you want to try different things, especially when it comes to your style. So defining your own style gives you something to work with. It's a way to come to grip with who you are as a person, you know, just to form a sense of identity. Okay, so being in fashion and loving fashion as much as I do, I know one thing that most people fall into either one of the categories or a combination of all of the categories with these five different style tips. We have classic, we have chic, we have bohemian, we have whimsical, and we have avant-garde. Okay, so first thing, if I was to look at your closet, what would the color palette be? So let's go take a look into my closet and see what my color palette mainly is. Uh, let's look at my color palette. When I look into my closet, I notice that I like a lot of colors. This is a fact. You'll see, you know, some black. I have a black blazer here, a black shirt or a dress here, another blazer here, um, some black sweaters here some more black over here. And the reason why I might buy some black and throw in there is because it depends. I know that I'm going to be going to corporate places or some places that require me to tone down my colors. So that's probably why I'll buy a lot of black pieces, but you made me see a lot of color. And another thing that you notice is that I like a lot of prints. There's a lot of prints in here. And that's because I gravitate to a lot of colors and bold prints. I always like to play around with my print mixing and the colors. So I already know, based on looking at my closet, you know that I'm a person who likes colors and prints. Okay, so step two. Pay attention to your body shape, guys. Now, I know you already know what you look like. But have you really paid attention to your body shape? That's a big question. Pay attention to your body shape so that you are able to understand the silhouettes that are flattering on your shape. So, for example, a person who is 5'8 can wear a pair of jeans that is very long and long to the point where it falls to the floor because they can accentuate those jeans by wearing some heels. But if you are 5'1", and you're trying to wear a pair of jeans that are long for a person who is 5'8", that's not so flattering. So that's what I mean about pay attention to your body shape. If you see someone who has a shape that is very slender, you know, athletic and very slender, wearing like a, um, a maxi dress that clings to their body, and your shape is more round, you might want to choose a different type of dress. You know, you, you don't really, and it's not being insulting. When you have friends and family who are honest around you, your style is going to look impeccable. You know, you don't want to come outside wearing something that doesn't flatter your shape and you have people around you who don't tell you the truth. Like, what's the point of having friends or family who don't tell you the truth. That's a big no in my book. But when you pay attention to things that are flattering on your silhouette, it makes a lot of difference for your style. You know, and don't be offended if something is not flattering on your shape. When you go to the store and you try on something, go with a friend. Go with a, a real friend, an honest friend that's gonna tell you the truth and you ask them, does this look good? You know, and that honest friend is going to say, hmm, not really. Why don't you try this? So that's what I mean about pay attention to things that pay attention to your body shape. Okay, so next you want to up your style game with signature pieces. For me, signature pieces for me are my shoes. Like 
my I I invest a lot in my shoes. My shoes have to be unique, um, stylish. I love a nice pair of shoes. I love fabulous shoes, <laughs> and I like my shoes to look unique. So I'll buy shoes from designers, you know, small businesses and designers who are up and coming or just create fabulous, bold, unique shoes. My hair is also my signature look. I love for my hair to be done. I think that whenever my hair is done, my outfit and my style is just complemented well. Next is to invest in timeless pieces that you would wear on rotation. For me, it's my jeans from American Eagle. I buy 90% of my jeans come from American Eagle and that's because they fit me so well, so well. I'm a size eight in jeans, so I know that when I go to American Eagle, I'm gonna wear size eight. You know, sometimes finding jeans is very hard, especially if you're curvy, because like if I try to buy jeans from somewhere else, the size eight is not gonna fit me and I'm not gonna buy a size 10, 12. That's not my size, <laughs> I'm a size eight. <laughs> so I make sure that I go with jeans for my signature style. Also, another signature style for me are blazers. I love blazers, especially blazers that are vintage. So I love investing in blazers that I know that I would be wearing over and over again. For example, I know I'll be wearing this one as soon as spring rolls around in the summertime. This is also another one that I love for the summer. And I love this signature style right here because when I'm going somewhere fancy and I don't feel like wearing a dress, I put this blazer on. And I have another one here that I love to wear you know, when the winter fall, when the fall time unfolds. So like I said, invest in signature pieces that you can use to upgrade your style and also invest in a clothing rack where you can see the items that you really want to wear. You want to have a clothing rack where you just put many different outfits that, you know, make up your style on the rack so that you're able to see them because you're not going to see everything in your closet so next you can create a mood board um, you can use Pinterest to do this you know with the mood board you're creating a digital you're, you're using a digital way to create looks that you would wear looks that you love so you want to use Pinterest um, to create this mood board and especially you want to use Instagram guys you know Instagram and Pinterest are the best ways to create a mood board of different styles that you like and when I say create looks that you love I don't mean to copy anyone you don't want to copy people you just want to find these looks as inspiration so that inspiration for your own style you might see someone who has a style similar to yours and you're like oh I like how she paired the blazer with the jeans or I like how she paired her dress with those boots and you know, that could be a little similar to your style and you just use that as inspiration. But yeah, a mood board is a great way to um, gain inspiration to create your own style. Next, you wanna think about items that you don't like. I think we spend a lot of time focusing on things that we do like that we forget the bigger picture. If you see a lot of bloggers wearing Chanel bags, but you don't like Chanel bags, why would you go out and buy it? Don't do everything that everyone else is doing. You know, if it's not, you have to be authentic to yourself. You don't want to go out and buy the latest whatever because you see another blogger wearing it and you see 10 other bloggers wearing it. You want to make sure that whatever you invest in is something that you like and you would wear and recreate over and over and over again and that's your style guys think about colors that radiate your aura um like i said before sometimes just a bright color lipstick is just gonna make your day or make your style stand out you don't even need to wear a lot of bright colors if you have on a pair of, a lip if you a pair of lipstick if you have on a lipstick that is just for you 
You can wear that any day, and then people are going to know that that person over there, her style is that bright color lipstick. You already just claimed who you are. But, um, yeah, think about colors that you would wear, colors that radiate your personality. Like I said before, I love my bright colors and my prints, so I already know that pink, um, <laughs> blue, orange, all those colors radiate my personality. Guys, if you really want to up your personal style, you got to declutter your wardrobe. You got to get rid of things that you don't want. Things that you would not wear because style eventually evolves, you know. You, there might be an item that you wore five years ago you still have in your closet. And today you're like, I ain't wearing that again. So why do you have it in your closet? Get rid of it. You know, donate it. So, two months ago I decluttered because... No, I think it was three months ago. Two or three months ago, I decluttered and it felt so good to get rid of all those items. I didn't look back. It did hurt that I had to get rid of some stuff, but I know that I'm going to be buying new pieces. I'm going to get a lot of new clothes because my style is evolving. And I thought about it and I said, I don't really need this. I don't really wear this anymore or I can pass on this. And so I just gave it away. There was no thought behind it. I just gave up those pieces and I am not looking back. Bye. They're gone. So we reached the end. I hope I gave you enough tips that you could cultivate your own style with your own aesthetic. And when you wear your own style, you're going to see, you're going to see how much confidence you're going to have, you know, because it's just going to naturally come with that style because you're being who you are and i hope you guys like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video <laughs>